All right, pinball fans, welcome. And tonight we're going to do a quick video on how to do a custom playlist. There's been a bunch of talk on uh, Discord about uh, making a custom playlist and um, you doing SQLs and keywords and all that. But this is the easiest way I figured out how to make a custom playlist for any type of tables that you wanted. You could just group them up and that way you don't have to worry about all your other tables and you don't have to search to them or whatever. So let's just say I'm going to make a custom playlist for my loaded weapon tables. Um, you can name this anything. You can do whatever you want. But this, this is what I did. So I have a, I made a folder. Just named it loaded weapon. If you open it up, I put all my tables and my POV files in here. Um, and if you need a back glass, you need to put a back glass in here with them too. Um, you don't need the back glass server or anything. It's already registered to the tables folder. So, all you need to do is have your tables, your back glass, your I and I file. Make sure they're, you know, they're all named the same. Um, if it's a putt pack, you don't have to worry about it. It'll automatically pick up the putt pack from your um, pinup folder. So, um, yeah. So here we go. So I have. Uh, folder name loaded weapon so I'm going to go to V pinball visual pinball now instead of tables I'm just going to drop it in here all right I'm going to drop it in my visual pinball folder all right so now I got another folder in here called loaded weapon and then the only other folder we need to make when you're going to go back we're going to go to pinup system we're going to go to pop media and we're going to make a loaded weapon folder in here I've already created it but here it is um, that way, well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. That way uh, I can show you uh, it'll automatically populate. So let's just make a folder. Like I said, I'm just calling it loaded weapon. You can, you can make any folder you want. Just name it whatever you want. Any kind of um, playlist or you might want EM, you know, a, a old school or whatever. Make any playlist you want. So. Once we did that, that's the only two folders we need to make. Then we're going to go to the emulator section. All right. We're going to go down here. We're going to hit the plus sign. But first, I want, uh, this is going to be a visual pinball playlist. So um, I'm just going to copy this because my launch EXE's folder is going to be visual pinball. I'm just going to copy this. So let's uh, go new. Let's just name it loaded weapon. Like I said, you name them whatever you want whatever your playlist kind of playlist you want to make all right now I'm gonna paste that visual pinball in here now when it goes to my games folder I'm gonna point that to the um, so I'm gonna go V pinball visual pinball and it's gonna be my tables are gonna be in that loaded weapon folder all right and of course the extension is VPX and then the ROMs folder of course um, that's going to be your ROMs uh, section in Visual Pinball. So it's a V Pinball, Visual Pinball, V Pin Mame, and ROMs. ROMs right here. Hit select. And now the media, that's going to go in that folder that I just made, loaded weapon in the uh, media. So it's going to go back to C drive. I'm going to go V Pinball, Pinup System, Pop Media, Loaded Weapon. Now when I select this, you're going to say, your uh, media folder is empty. Would you like to initialize folder structure and defaults now? Hit yes. All right. And it's going to create all those folders for you for like your DMD and all that stuff. All right. Um, okay. So then if you want to have any displays on, like if you want a uh, full DMD, and I have a full DMD apron, so I'm going to leave that on. Hit save. Now we want to go up here and we're going to check active. All right. Now once we do that, then we're going to hit this check mark to save it. And I'll show you why. Alright, now it's going to create this. Now this is, uh, it's going to create your MUID. And this emulator is number 7 for me. It'll, it'll probably be different for you. So, But whatever this number is, you need to keep it. Alright, so I'm going back to Visual Pinball X. Right, now I'm going to go to Launch Setup. And I want to copy all this launch script. Make sure you get all of it. Right click, Copy. I'm going to go to my loaded weapon one and I'm going to paste it in. Now since I want this to be all my 10.8 uh, tables, I'm going to change this V pinball 
to whatever exe I'm running and I'm actually running the x um, the x64 dot exe alright if you're running the GL one this is on my desktop so on my cab I'll use um, GL but alright so on here um, I'm running the x64 so that's good now we need to go back to Visual Pinball X and I need to copy the uh, close script copy and paste it in and that's it so that emulator is already set up and I have it going automatically to my 10.8x64 which is the DirectX version so once we close that then we're going to go to the game manager we're going to go to playlist alright so we're going to go to Visual Pinball X I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to copy this SQL alright I'm going to copy these settings right click copy alright so then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to add a new playlist I'm going to name it loaded weapon hit OK alright this is completely separate I didn't add one on the visual, visual pinball X this is going to be completely separate alright so once you do that then you're going to paste the other one in now remember my emulator ID it was number seven so we're gonna to have to change that right here we're gonna emu ID instead of one we're gonna have seven okay then you're gonna click playlist is active alright you're gonna hit that check that makes it um whatever is in that folder will be uh, active so as of right now we don't have anything I can hit refresh there's nothing in here right So we got our playlist settings. Me act. All right, save changes. So what we're going to do now, now that we've got that all set up, we're going to hit close. We're going to go to the games manager. We're going to go up top. We're going to get add new games. We're going to select our new emulator loaded weapon, and we're going to scan. Now it has all my tables that are in that folder. I can just hit select all, add the games, 45 new games. Now when I go back to my playlist loaded weapon there they all are all my tables are already added okay now so we're going to close that then you're just going to go to the media manager and one main thing you need to do you need to go to your playlist you need to go to your uh, the one you made you have to have a wheel image if you don't it will not show up in the playlist so I just added my uh, Rudy's wheel image um, now we, that's it we'll check it out I'll show you what it looks like I'll exit launch we're gonna go over here it is there's my playlist I'm gonna go into it um, let's just do attack from Mars Please wait. I am now loading up the game Have fun. that's it it's automatically in 10.8 uh, using my POV my back glass and full DMD is showing up I don't have all three screens on or I'd show you but um yeah, I mean, it's that simple. I hope that helps you guys out. If you have any questions, hit me up on Discord. And until next time, good night.